The next thing we want to talk about are fillers. And these are fillers that are added in smaller, medium quantities to the resin mixture to kind of extend it out. The resin's pretty expensive, but the fillers are actually pretty inexpensive. And so to change the properties of the resin, we use one of six different fillers. Four of these are high density, hard to sand, very structurally tough. And it depends on your experience which ones you want to use. We'll go through them pretty quickly. So the first one is number 403 microfibers. Number 403, are, these are small cotton milled fibers, which doesn't sound like it would make a very good reinforcing material, but it's amazing. It takes the resin and makes it thicker and easier to sort of fill it into a corner, and it won't sag. And boy, when it hardens, it hardens like steel. It's remarkable. So these are little chopped fibers of cotton. The next is a high density adhesive filler. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but it's a dense powder and when mixed with the resin, it makes it extremely strong and it's also heavy. So you get a structurally tough material. Again, not something that you'd want to try to sand. The next is called filleting blend. And this is a, um, uh, this gives you a, the proper consistency to make materials that you can put into a fillet and uh, reinforce the intersection of two different materials, kind of a medium density. And then the final is colloidal silica. Uh, this is very low density, but it sets up extremely hard, again, hard to sand. The West Systems user manual can once again be a great source of information and tell you a heck of a lot more about this stuff than I have just now. And in fact, it has a neat little chart here which compares the properties of 404, 406, 403, 405, 407, and 410, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And it gives a little star rating, so you know where these uh, fillers are best used. One thing to be aware of is that you can mix the fillers together to get your own custom blend. So if you find out that you need a little microfibers and a little filleting blend, you can certainly do that. The last two fillers are very, very low density, and they're intended in conditions where you want to be able to sand the material. This, for example, is uh, low density fairing compound number 407. It's kind of a micro balloon mixture. It uh, has a reddish color and is uh, very easy to sand when you're done and you can sand to a very fine edge so that you don't get a lumpy surface when you paint over it. The last one is microlite fairing compound. You know, this whole can weighs just a couple of ounces. It's remarkably light for fairing big surfaces and you can uh, get, again, a very fine edge. This is sort of a tan color when it's cured. So the point is that these six uh, compounds can be added to your resin mixture while it's still liquid and before it started to cure. Mix it up very carefully and then by adding more of it you can change the viscosity of the material so that for example it won't run off a vertical surface or so it'll stay in a filleted form. And my guess is that you probably need two or three of these to have a reasonable start on doing a lot of West Systems projects. Two more products in the West Systems line that you might be interested in. One is this single cartridge but two component epoxy. This is a thickened epoxy adhesive and it's really cool. When you use it in a standard caulking gun, it actually dispenses the exact right amount of two different kinds of product, an epoxy and a hardener. They go through this spout which mixes it up very fine and it comes out all pre-mixed. So this is 610, very good for doing uh, repairs on board boats. This is the G-Flex. This is a repair kit epoxy that is mixed one-to-one. -one. Use uh, one part of the uh, 650 and one part of the 650 hardener, put them together. This actually comes with some little uh, measuring cups and it comes with some hardener and syringes, all in one handy to use package. Very, very good if you don't want to start with pre-thickened epoxy. If you do want to use pre-thickened epoxy, you can use something like G-Flex 655. This has two tubes of resin and hardener, but they already have the filler materials into them. So you mix them up on a little plastic board with a, one of our mixing sticks and can apply it. So this gives you a gap filling, thicker model. You, you don't really modify it after that, you just apply it. And incidentally, the folks at West Systems are kind enough to include some of their high quality gloves, the mixing stick, and all the rest of the stuff you need to do it. So these two G-Flex products and the 610 allow you to do projects without getting out all the rest of your West Systems inventory.